Well, good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ. I am coming to you from uh, our uh, intensive care unit wiring closet. And that's why I'm dressed in all the garb. Because I just walked through the ICU and you have to be wearing this when you come through there. So uh, I'm sorry about the, the hum. That's the uh, transformer you were sitting on there. And I'm, I'm doing this on my laptop because I left my phone. Um, so we, uh, we converted our closet, uh, which closet was that? Um, it's a first floor closet that serves a couple of different departments. Um, you know, give you a better background, something interesting to look at. Um, it was the, uh, uh, our nursing admin department, which also has our communications. So you call the operators, and that's who you talk to. And uh, I think I'm gonna take this off. I am, I am out of, there we go. I'm out of the ICU at the moment. So um, converted the closet, uh, it went pretty well. Um, the biggest problems we had, yeah, my glasses are fogging up. The biggest problems we had were, um, we, we were having fiber issues. So we, we swapped out uh, fiber patch cables and uh, at both ends. And what we were seeing is that we were getting received CRC errors, which is generally a, a physical cabling problem, usually. Um, but we swapped out uh, fiber patch cables on both ends. We used a different home run and we were still getting these CRC errors. Um, so what we eventually ended up having to do is just keep swapping the GBIX uh, until the CRC errors went away. So um, my, my working theory at the moment is uh, that it's just the manufacturing tolerances of the GBIX, maybe some dust. It's just some of them aren't uh, going, aren't the range on some of the GBIX isn't, you know, to spec. So, and, and truth be told, that, uh, that closet is at the very edge of our campus. Um, so it's about 1,500, 2,000 feet from the core. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's a long way for multimode fiber really long way. It should, should be single mode, but it is what it is. Um, it was working as of yesterday. I haven't haven't checked the CRC errors yet today to see how many have propped up overnight. But, uh, hoping there won't be too many. Now this is the next closet we're going to do. It's a stack of three switches and it serves our intensive care department. Um, so what I do to prep these is I come out and see how far it is from the switches themselves. To the fiber patch panel which is right there um, that's the old switches that we migrated off of the old legacy and terraces uh, switches and uh, we migrated over to these and um, so i grabbed the old gbix out of those and put them in here so like i said that's what i do to uh, to get ready i'll come out and i'll install two new gbix right there Two new ones, one right there and one up there at the top, um, just to get ready. Now you'll see some orange cables here. Um, that's a separate vendor network, uh, Siemens, and they monitor all the uh, vitals of the patients. So uh, that's our vitals network. Um, and I don't manage that, but there will be a project next year to remove those switches and put all those monitors on my switches. So that'll, that'll be fun and interesting. Um, so yeah, I'll, uh, I've got the GBIX in place. I know the, uh, how long the patch cables need to be for the, the fiber patches. And so we should be good to go for uh, next week. We're gonna migrate this closet over. Um, hopefully we'll have fewer, fewer problems than we did the last time, but uh, there's no, never any guarantee. So that said, short update this week. Um, hope everybody's doing good out there. Uh, thanks for all the comments. You know, people have been very supportive. Some people not so supportive. That's really your problem, not mine. <laughs> so uh, I just, I'm just here doing the best I can. Um, and everybody else, you do the best you can too. Stay safe out there and uh, God bless. We'll see you next time.